Really, I was happy just sitting there on my phone and then Charlie went. That's it, six points at the top of the league, um, yeah. half fought victory, bonus points. Can you give me your, your overall thoughts to start with? Overall thoughts, is that, that was our best performance of the season. You know, we've been talking about peaking at the right time, talking about this game as the pinnacle of our season, and the boys fronted up and put together the best performance they have this season. Consistency was what I asked for, consistency was what I got, you know, and some really, really good rugby and attack and defence. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, We've spoken throughout the season about getting that start and being the first scorers and, and at times we haven't and we've had to come back into the game. How do you feel the boys were from the first minute to the I end? Would, yeah, we set the tone, you know, and, and, and again, we haven't done that in a lot of games. We've let the opposition set the tone and then we fought our way back into it. But we set the tone today. You could, you could visibly see that Sudbury were rattled after 10 minutes of rugby. We were, line speed was excellent. We were strong in the contact. You know, we, we were attacking wide well, we dis disrupted their D so many times and they scrambled, to their credit, they scrambled really well. I mean, we could have been a lot more up at half time, I think, so, um, but yeah, that's, that's how we wanted to play and that's how we played, so I, I couldn't be happier. Yeah, looking at the group of boys that we've got, of course, first Nomads and the Fringe players as well. Yeah. Most of them were here today, whether they yeah. were playing or not. Can you just send out a message to the squad that are here and have got themselves into this position? That, that's what we've been working on. You know, we worked on it through the COVID pandemic and we've worked on it all year. It's not just about the first team. It's not just about your best players. It's about the squad, you know, and for the Nomads to go over to Berry last night and front up and then jump on the bus and come down and support their mates in the first team today. That is the culture at Shelford at the moment. And that's something to be really Really proud of. That's probably something to be more proud of than the victories that we get. Okay, is the fact that we got all these guys like a brotherhood. All right, loving their rugby, but loving spending time with each other. That's brilliant. Yeah, and the fans as well. I, it, it felt like it was a home game, but points for the amount of noise that our fans were making. Can you just uh, give a couple of words to the fans that made it down? As yeah, well? yeah. Look, they're, they're an extension of the squad. You know, they're an extension of what we do, and and we we've had such a great year because they've been behind us all the way, cheering us on. It just means so much, and you know, I say it again and again. I after home games, this, that and the other, and we do a round of applause, but it means so much to all of us to have that group of, of supporters behind us, family, friends, you know, loved ones, all that kind of stuff, and they're there cheering us on. And to come down here and be the noisiest group down here today was just the uh, cherry on the cake for me. It was excellent. Yeah, thank you, Peacock family. Thank you, Will. Love the Go Peacock Go celebrate, family. mate. <laughs> Thanks, mate.